Hey Sparks, Pastor Terry here. I am so excited that I get to be with you and hang with you this week because this week we have a super important message and it is a message on the image of God. And you ask yourself, the image of God, what does God look like? It's not what God looks like, it's but how we look more like God. Amen? So let's start. We'll start with the first things first. Heavenly Father, thank you for my friends. Thank you for this time. And uh, God, let your words be your words out of my mouth, God. Uh, take me out of this situation and let your words be heard. In Jesus' mighty name, we say amen, amen, amen. Okay, so uh, God created his people in his image. Uh, this means that we think, we feel, we make choices, uh, we're super creative, um, and that kind of makes us like God. Uh, we are completely unique and a special part of God's creation. Now, uh, God chose to make man in his image and in his likeness, and it says in Genesis 1 verse 26, then God said, let us make man in a, our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish in the sea and over the birds and in the heavens and the, over the livestock and over all of the earth and every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. We're the bosses. God put us in charge of the things that he created. And you know what? When I say that we're the boss, it doesn't mean that uh, there's a difference between being the boss and being bossy, as you kind of like maybe are with your brothers and sisters. But like being the boss means that you take care of the people around you. You take care of the things that, um, are, that need to be done. And so that's what God has basically done with Adam and Eve, is that he has made you, me, Adam and Eve, Everybody that is on the face of the earth, that has always been on the face of the earth, he has made us, given us dominion over everything. But because we bear God's image, we have feelings and emotions. We can also respond to other people's emotions, and we love and care for them. Um, you know, all we have to do is look at our mom and dad when we're not feeling really good, and mom and dad gives us a hug, and everything is so much better. That is the essence of God. That is what God feels like. Um, God gave us brilliant minds so we can continue to learn uh, new things and to develop our talents and our skills. Brink, 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 brink. We're smart. We're intelligent. We're creative. All right. Being made in God's image means uh, that we are able to think and reason. And this is the greatest Characteristic. You know what characteristic is? It's kind of all the things that we're made of. But you know, it's uh, uh, all the the things that that make us. Uh, that's what characteristics are. Uh, and it is the greatest characteristic that we bear because it gives us the ability to have a relationship, friendship with God. God doesn't force anyone to love Him. He doesn't want robots. God wants us to make our own decisions. He wants us to come to him willingly because he, he's a God of love. And love really isn't if, if, if we come to him, oh, I love you, God. I love you, God. That's not love. That's just a program. That's like your cell phone, your tablet, or, or your, your laptop. It does what you say it, it tells it to do. God wants us to come to him and love him because it is our choice. Uh, we have the ability to choose whatever we want to or not. Um, this ability to choose one thing over another is also the reflection of being made in his, God's image. Uh, as we think about it, being made in God's image, we can praise God, praise Him as we go throughout our day, knowing the abilities uh, and our reflection is Him. Everything that we do is Him. I'm just going to talk really quickly, though. Are there bad people in the earth? Is that the image of God? No. That when we are saved, when God saves us, he gives us the ability to change our perspective. It changes the way we live. It changes the way, but it's our choice. We can choose to be in God's image or we can choose to be in like 
the other image. So it's our choice. Uh, God loves us, but we have to make that choice to have a relationship with God. Kids, I had a great time. I can't wait to see you next week. And uh, ta-ta for now. Bye.